Okay. Would you prefer to get in a car and spend a day with Dwayne The Rock Johnson or Chuck Norris? Mute your mic, please. <laughs> um, I would. I don't know who Chuck. I think I do Dwayne the Rock yeah, Johnson. Yeah. Only because he's like really chill. Like. Yeah. Ch chill being. I could play rock paper scissors with him. <laughs> He'd always win. Yeah. I mean, he is the Rock. Alrighty. Yeah. You're so wrong. You're so wrong. One time Jeff Torres beat the gas gasoline tank of a semi truck. Now there's Optimus Prime. <laughs> Oh, I'm about to break this. Do you prefer a teeter totter or a swing? Totter. Yeah, teeter totter because I can get flung off of it and it's really funny to. Yeah, and you can do it with another person. Yeah, I mean, you there's know, the this. Worst part, you know, the worst part about a teeter totter is, is the person that's down just leaves you on there and then when you go down, you slam your nuts. Yeah, that's the fun part. <laughs> well, because uh, I'm, like, hang- Like, because it's, like, so narrow, and then I'm just, like, hanging off of it, and I, like, slam it, and I, like... It, like. But, like, what if you're doing it with, like, an adult that's, like, 50 pounds heavier than you? Then, 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 then you can't go down, and you're stuck up. But, like, they go- They stand off to go up, and you- And then Whee! when they sit down, you just get flung. Flat. Anyways, um, yeah. Next, um, next question. Would you prefer to catch uh. the world's biggest or shoot the world's biggest deer? What if okay. I do both because I have a shotgun and um the deer is with the fish? What so I go like bang. How do you Nathan, a shotgun? Shotguns are not Nathan, if you see a deer, if why avoid hunting deer with shotguns? Because if you see a deer with a shotgun, you ought to leave it alone. You know what? Okay. Um what if I drown the deer and then take the bass and the deer? And like Yeah. Okay, so how big is the deer? That's illegal. Too bad I'm doing it because I'm I am How big is the legal. deer? Legal. How big is the deer? Yeah. yeah. The world record. Yeah. So yeah. is it bigger than my forehead? No. No. Darn it. Well then that no, no, I'm doing the bass. It is, it is slightly smaller than Grant's forehead. <laughs> well that's not saying much because he doesn't have much of a forehead. Rat's forehead is so big. Rat's forehead is so big when he has his hair up, I can't look at him because it like glares in my eyes. Rat's forehead is so big. Oh man. Oh poor. I hope Mr. Clean doesn't watch this. He's gonna get a pretty offended. <laughs> I'm gonna do it. What you mean? Yeah, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> <laughs> Open the curtains. <laughs> okay, next question. Would you prefer there be no government in the US or Russia? There be no government in in the US? Russia. In the U well, okay, wait, you you do Russia, but in the US because then I can successfully um expand my micronation and take over the Flint Hills. Business idea. Well hmm. colonization. Nathan, if you do then just come to yours because I don't want to get shot. Okay, I might do US now because I might uh form a micronation in Florida. 
Wait, no, Florida would suck. Yeah, I don't think you want. I don't think you want Florida. I, it would get destroyed every two seconds. Yeah, it'd either get destroyed shark by a hurricane. Found dead in a river, kissing a shark. Okay, I. <laughs> that is so many things wrong with it. Why is a shark in a river and? Mm. My brain just died for a died. second, <laughs> and in, instead of put, going to the floor, Florida for my micro nation, my brain said, "Go to the Everglades for it." <laughs> that you're actually gonna know that's not an opinion. What happened in New Jersey when a shark swam upstream? Uh, Wasn't that from the I Survived Shark Attacks 1916 yeah, book by it? Lauren Tarshis? Or, yeah. Nathan's right. Nathan's right. That's based on a true event that actually happened. Oh, it's based on oh, it's- Yeah. I mean, every, I mean, it's true. Yeah. The characters aren't real. But I mean, it's like based on a true. Like I, I survived 9/11. Prank, like the swamp monster prank. I survived 9/11. Is that fake? <laughs> yeah. Okay, anyways, next <laughs> Next question. Do you prefer Kool-Aid or soda? Soda. <laughs> yeah, soda. I literally have a 7-Up can at my desk right now. Like, Kool-Aid can't compete, <laughs> compete with, like... Because it's not carbonated. Yeah. I gotta What's the it? good of it if it's not carbonated? It's gotta be carbonated. Because then you get that fizzy burp. <laughs> <laughs> you should have heard my burp the other day when I was on with Owen. It, would just, it just did not stop. Like, I, I burped my <laughs> internal organs out. <laughs> my fizzy burp. Before we ca- continue this yeah, podcast... Before we continue this podcast, I'd like to thank Weather Watchers Inc. for sponsoring this podcast. Uh, yeah. Back to the podcast. Alright, what's the next question? Would you rather be in a rushing slapping competition with Chuck Norris or Ronnie Coleman? Both, both old dudes. Um, c- c- could I, can I, c- could can I watch, could I watch, like, could, I, could we make you be in the competition and we watch? Yeah, yeah, let's watch. No, you let's should, watch. you should, you should have a, you, no, the best strategy is you do the first slap and then you go, I forfeit. Wait, I do it, but then I just duck and put a brick wall. No, I put <laughs> spikes. Unfortunately, they don't have bricks in Russia because they're too poor to afford them. Wait, no, that's North Korea. I just bring some spikes. So you're gonna stab them? No, I put, like, spikes on the side of my head. Oh, uh, the whole day. Rack, that's gold stabbing them. Yeah, like, yeah. (laughs) Yeah, but, like... Okay, next question, please. Would you rather eat barbecue or fried chicken? Oh my gosh. Uh, That's so hard. Oh my gosh. That is. They're like equal for me. Yeah, I'd love it. I mean. I feel like barbecue, there's more options though. Yeah, but. Fried chicken. Fried chicken. Fried chicken's really like okay. Where are we getting the fried chicken from? Like anywhere. Anywhere we choose. Anywhere we choose. <laughs> Homemade disaster. Okay. Yeah. No, I'm doing barbecue. Okay. Yeah, barbecue. <laughs> <laughs> I hope Xander isn't watching. <laughs> Next question. Um, there's a difference between the three. Is there? Heck yeah. Well, yeah. Well, yeah. Like, I mean, you could get, like, fried 
Do, 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 do. But I mean, like, but I mean, like, I, I don't, I, I, I don't prefer any barbecue over another because they're all good unless they're made by Kay's cooking because then it's just a bunch of barbecue sauce, um, just a bunch of barbecue sauce. Yeah. I just take Mexican because I want to see what they do. Sizzle, sizzle, pop, pop, pop. Okay, next question. Would you rather eat a gorilla or a orangutan? Eat a gorilla or a orangutan? Or an orangutan? Wait, why are we eating them? Yes, sir. They do it. They actually do in like uh, whatever, wherever those live. China. China. China, Africa, South America, like <laughs> It's probably a delicacy in China. It's a delicacy in North Korea. I mean, whoo, we haven't seen that much meat. Uh, a delicacy in North Korea is literally eating dogs, Nathan. I know. No, a delicacy in North Korea is, is eating nothing mm-hmm. because they give the poor, like, nothing. Okay. Alright, so, I would eat an orangutan. The reason why being, it would be orange-flavored. I'd probably eat an orangutan because I'd have less to eat. Except the orangutan is the uh uh-oh, stinky orangutan. You know what? I'm gonna make friends with both of them. And then I'm gonna take them on a cruise. And then eat them. No. (laughs) You gotta eat them someday. Nathan, Nathan, have you tried to make friends? It'll grab both your arms and just like tear you in half. It'll grab both my arms and give me a big hug. I'm I'm sorry. Um, have you ever heard of a gorilla named Harambe? Have you ever heard of him? Have you ever heard of him? Huh? 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 Have you ever heard of him? Huh? Grant, that's because you speak gorilla. <laughs> Are you just gonna roast me this whole time? <laughs> Probably. Next question, please. What do you think is what would you rather live in California or Oregon? Easy Oregon. Oregon is like the prettiest in in the spring, and also that's because oh my grandparents live out there. Yeah. So yeah. so you want so you want gluten free, no wheat, basically air. Um, a teaspoon I don't want to spend. Processed from the sewer, so it's clean. Well, I don't want to be go in California and get addicted to gambling and then live in the sewer. Okay, hold on. Where did you get the idea of Oregon? Because Oregon, you should actually go out to Oregon. Um, because um, I and did th- Oregon, Nathan. Nathan, I spent literally like five weeks in Oregon. My grandparents live in Oregon. I go out there just about every year. I know what Oregon is like. They literally live in a suburb of Portland. Is that beach Cannon Beach? Because that's where we always go when we go to Oregon. No, it, it's uh, it's called Fuel Rock. Oh, sorry, what? Hey. It's called Seal Rock. Mm. Okay. Well, yeah, but um, Oregon is amazing, so I'd oh, I'd, I'd move. I'd go out there, but also, cause I would um, I would get to see my um grandparents a lot and um they are some very good grandparents so um yeah (laughs) but also i mean it's just so pretty like especially during like rain when she's like 
this thing. And then it's all been like, okay. Next question. <laughs> Next question. Okay, would you guys rather go on vacation and like visit my boys in Scotland or go to your next nor door neighbor in Ireland? Okay, I'd go to Scotland, reasoning being, like, I'm, I'm, like, 20% Scottish. I'm, like, none Scottish. I'm, like, none Scottish. My cousin. But then I'm also, like, 12% Russian and, like, also 20% German, so. Um. <laughs> Be quiet. Be quiet. I moved to America. Uh, no, not me. My family moved actually no that's a lie they but my family was in uh, in the u.s army during world war ii some of them at least okay um well my family moved to america way back like way more back Back in the day, my family. And they were in Germany way back. Yeah, your name is okay, like German. If, if Grant came from Germany, do they have really big foreheads there? <laughs> okay, I can. I came from Swiss, so it was Switzerland then Germany. I can't. Oh, okay, so it's Swiss. It's Swiss. The Vikings did have very large foreheads. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so we were in Germany, then we went to Switzerland, then we went to U.S. That's what the family did. After you were with humongous forehead. <laughs> Quit! His forehead is way smaller than mine. And also, you can't be talking... When you have a forehead the size of the continent of Africa. Because when I look at your forehead, my whole vision is like, I can't see anything but your forehead. <laughs> oh, 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 I'm sorry. Who had to get removed from a party because they blinded 18 people? Next question, please. At least I have a hairline. <laughs> Who is your favorite band? Beatles. AJR. Um, one of those I love. One of those. <laughs> One of those you've never heard of. He's probably, exactly. He's probably heard of Beatles. Yeah. AJR is. If he hasn't heard of listen. Beatles, I'm gonna be like. Yeah, I'm, I would be very bruh. depressed on him. I would be impressed that he. Nathan, Nathan, I thought you would do Beatles. You, you literally have a shirt that says Beatles on it. Well, I, I mean. Know a lot of I know. have a shirt with the name Beatles. Okay, I like the Beatles, but, like, AJR makes relatable music. Like, I can relate to most of their music. Well, not all of it, but a lot of it. Would you rather watch a sunset in Nebraska or Kansas? Sunset since, in since, we're all, since, we're, since we're all from Wisconsin, which would you want? Be, be quiet. Uh, sunset in Nebraska... Probably. I mean, I don't know. I know sunsets in Kansas are really cool, but like, well, when I went to Kansas back in like 2017, like I just remember it being like cloudy, and we had to go to the hotel basement because um, and there was a tornado, or not the hotel basement, like the hotel hallway, like there was this interior hallway. Like, right off the lobby, and we had to go in there because there was, like, a tornado warning. We're not fooling anybody. They already know that I stream, and I literally cover only Kansas. So, yeah. Well, also, Kansas has, like, more storm activity than, like, anywhere in the world, so. 
Well, <laughs> what about Oklahoma and Alabama? Oklahoma is full of the, well, at least used to be, kind of still is, down in the panhandle and the bayou and then Alabama. Alabama be vibing. I like Alabama. You did enjoy this podcast. Please consider liking, subscribing. And comment um, about all the questions, like your answers to all the questions below. And until next time, see ya. Well, you might know like Drenna or something. I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill you because you pronounced Arkansas wrong. Wait, did he say Arkansas? Oh, I thought he just said Kansas twice. <laughs> yeah, he said Arkansas. Arkansas. Okay. <laughs> no, quit. No, no, I'm, no, I'm, not, I'm finished. I'm not-